Hey everyone, so this is Anne, and I'm just here with a haul from a CCO in Houston. And I had a really great time in Houston. I went to visit my family. I had to stop at a CCO out in Cypress, Texas, which is outside of Houston. It's off of 290. So it's called Houston Premium Outlets, and it's pretty close to where I was staying in the north side of Houston. It's an outside outlet kind of thing. Um, we just go around and I went to the cosmetic company outlet and I went to the perfume outlet. Of course, if you don't already know, a lot of my friends didn't know, but if you didn't know and you don't watch YouTube and stuff like that, CCO, pretty much what it is, it's an outlet for sometimes discon- or most of the time I guess, or all of the time, discontinued makeup. And the one I went to, I had tunnel vision, so I didn't know all the other stuff they sold there. I think they had Estee Lauder, but I had tunnel vision to like MAC. And they have a whole bunch of discontinued things. They had Fafi, they had the Hello Kitty line, things that they can't really get rid of that easily because the products were kind of crappy. They had a little bit of Liberty of London. They had a few recent collections that came out. So I just picked up a few things. I'm just going to start with the CCO, of course. First, I'm going to show you the Mineralized Skin Finish and Natural and Shimmer Duo. And this used to go for $26.50 and I got this for $18.75, which is a really good deal considering this is such a big compact with such a great use. I got this in medium dark and you're probably looking at me like, uh, she's not dark. <laughs> But yeah, I like to pretend that I'm dark because my arm is like dark-ish. So I like to pretend like my face is the same color as my the rest of my body. So this is it right here. It comes in the this packaging. The chic, you know, black packaging, clear window. It has the medium dark and natural shimmer on the back. This is the product itself and it's pretty dark, I must admit. But not for me. It comes with a matte shade and a shimmer shade. See this dark shade? It's not that dark on me because you can sheer it out. And this is the the highlight shade. I'm trying out new lighting so I'm really sorry if you can't see. And it's really pretty on. You can buff it in. The use of uh, MSF Natural is you can buff it into your skin, moisturize or primes. And it'll kind of like make things look nice. But I have too many freckles and, you know, discoloration that it didn't really work out for me. You kind of have to keep buffing it and buffing it. But it does give you a nice finish by itself. The other thing that you can use this for is to set your foundation. I want a MSF Natural so bad for this that I just got this medium dark. When I pretend to be like a medium or something. This shimmer shade, not so great for lighter shades, but it does look gorgeous better for darker shades but it is kind of orangey like more of an orangey bronze I don't like orange when it comes to um, being dark so that's that and it comes with this little plastic thing so I'm gonna keep that on there oh and I forgot to mention I tried to look up all the collections this came from Mac New View and I believe this came out like two summers ago like in 2008 which is something crazy before I even got into makeup next I have the mineralized skin finish in perfect topping i've heard so much about not really i didn't really hear that much about it i just you know hear whispers of it you know i never really watch reviews this is a regular mineralized skin finish in perfect topping and this retailed for 27 dollars and i got it for 19 dollars this came out with a sugar sweet collection about a year ago or something i don't know i'm not gonna say that i'm just gonna say it came out with the sugar sweet collection and this is what it looks like. It has all the veining and stuff like that and it's baked. Baked. This is really, 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 really pretty as a highlight. Freaking awesome. It is really like the perfect topping to your blush. The thing about this though, it is really, really, really kind of shimmery. That's how shimmery it is. I'm just going to swatch that on the back of my hand. After you sheer it out, it's not so bad. So you can use like a MAC 187, like a stippling brush to apply this. And it'll just be so freaking pretty. It's on top of my cheeks right now. It's awesome. I kind of wanted something else on top of it, but I just use this for now. The next product I have, I also have on my cheeks. And it's Full Fuchsia Blush. It's a satin finish. This came out in the Riveting Collection. And just says so that back there. 
full fuchsia, satin finish. No more raised pans, just the regular boring blush pan. But the blush itself is not boring at all. I saw like one review and was like, oh yeah, it looks really intimidating in a pan, but don't worry, it's not that bad. B.S. Because I put some on my kabuki this morning, put on my cheeks, I was like, oh my god. So I was just like, cheer out, cheer out, cheer out. Even though I use a MAC 187, you have to use it really light handedly and you have to pick up a little bit of product and just tap it onto your cheeks with a MAC 187 and you're good. This kind of blush is a blush that reminds you of those girls that, don't be offended, I'm sorry. The girls where you have like, ba bam like blush on your face might be the blush that they be, they're using. Um, actually, I was looking for a blush, a bright, bright, bright pink blush for MAC for a little while. I wanted a MAC blush like NARS, but this one is, it's fuchsia. It's fuchsia. The only one I have is like pink. This is like fuchsia, and it's like, mmm. But the way I sheared it out, it kind of looks the same on my cheeks anyway. But it's always nice to have a MAC blush. I think this is my first MAC blush, like colored blush. So, next, I have another thing exciting. It's the Luster Drops in Pink Rubble. Awesome packaging, cheetah print. What more can you ask for for an animal? This one came out in the Style Warriors collection, which explains the animal print. But if you are a little confused and you're like, oh, Style Warriors. I thought it came from To The Beach. Um, it was. It was re-released in this collection. This is what it looks like. It's a small bottle. It's 0.6 us fluid ounces it's so freaking pretty it's like peach it's like the color of a peach if they mix it all together it's like pink with gold undertones be really careful i squeezed the bottle before i opened it and it like squirted everywhere so here is a little drop of that if you can see and this is freaking beautiful on the skin it's a liquid highlighter and I tried it on my cheeks, like just on my cheeks yesterday, and it just gave me this freaking awesome glow. You're just going to tap it out to blend it. It just gave me this awesome glow. I was just like, oh my god, I look like I'm glowing, like literally. If you ever wonder what the definition of glowing is and looking pretty glowing, Pink Rebel Luster Drops will give you just that effect. It was $18.50 and that's only $13. And it's still fresh in people's minds because it was just in the To The Beach collection. Next, I have the, this one. I have no idea what it's called. So it's a MAC Crush Metal Pigment in Stacked 2. And this came out in the MAC Color Forecast. I forgot to write it down. This retails for $32.50 and I got this for $22.75. And I was sold when the lady like show me this because I was swatching pigments and I was like let me get the two pigments that like everyone has vanilla and I wanted to be like laying a baby and have like melon pigment but I saw these and she swatched it for me she was like oh yeah they're like pigments but they're like wet let me just show you these I'm not gonna swatch all of them they get really messy but that's what it looks like I never really had solar bits but when I see them on YouTube this is what it reminds me of it's like wet pigment and once you swatch them I'm just gonna take some of this off the plastic let me try to swatch it like the lady did because when the lady swatched it I was like wow awesome yeah she just went like that and then it was more awesome than that but look how pretty that is I really wanted this set because I wanted the melon pigment and I wanted the gold because I wanted it for Saints games and you know how I love them Saints and I'm always on the lookout for a good gold eyeshadow. Let me just swatch the one that looked like melon pigment. It's on the bottom stack of this one. That is the pigment that looks like melon pigment. Excuse, oh, whatever. I'm tired of being like, excuse me. So there's a swatch of that. See how pretty that is? See how pretty it is on my finger? My fingers look kind of weird, but look at the way. I don't know if you can see that because I can't really see what's going on in the camera. But to me, it looks freaking pretty. This one doesn't really have that many chunks in there. I kind of feel like the gold one, I'm missing a lot of product. I don't know if it's just me or that's just really how it is. So yeah, that's the, that's the bronze one. This is the olive green one. And I really love this set because it's just like 
new not really neutrals but like okay neutrals really earthy tones but like shimmery you know with the gold and the green and the bronze and the melanie oh melanie like my subscriber melanie anyways it says stack two on the bottom and when the lady, okay, like they had a display where they glued it to a board so they can know that it's a set. So the lady was like, okay, which one do you want? And I was like, oh, um, the other lady told me it was, uh, you know, part of a set. So whatever. Anyways, so the very last thing I got from the CCO is uh, MAC Pigment. It's open because I just use it in a tutorial if you want to check it out. I'll probably have a link to it. If you don't know, the MAC full-size pigments that you've grown to know and love are gone. So I've always wanted a pigment, but I never really pick any up because I don't like buying eyeshadows from MAC because I just feel like I have all the colors already. I don't like to buy individual colors. So I got MAC Vanilla Pigment because I figured it would be really, really versatile. And just look at it. Look. The thing is full. Like, when I see people have it, it's like half full. But this thing is like full to the top. This jar is like 7.5 grams and... Now they sell it for 4.5 grams and correct me if I'm wrong, they sold it for the same price. So they were both $19.50 each for the full size and the size that they have now. So I'm just going to swatch some of that off the cap on my pinky and then swatch some on my hand. Look how pretty and white that is. You can blend it out and it'll be a lot better. Um, It's like a white, it has some kind of undertone to it. I can't really describe it. A pearl undertone. There you go. So that's it for my MAC stuff and I'm just going to move on to my NYX stuff um, just to try to hurry it along because I know I'm taking a while. I just got a few things because I, I, I wandered out of Rue 21. I looked up and I was like, oh, it's a perfume outlet. Oh, it's a perfume outlet. 